Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys four fall must-haves. Obviously there are so many other must-haves for fall, but I wanted to share the four that I feel like are just going to be a staple in your closet. This portion of the video is sponsored by Nordstrom. If I show anything to you guys in this video that you love, be sure to check out the description box, click away because some of these are just so good. I'm pretty sure you're going to want to add to cart. So let's just begin. All right, first item, an absolute must, must, must have. I've been so into grays, especially like dark charcoal grays. So with that, I needed a charcoal gray jean. So these are the Levi's rib cage straight leg ankle jean. This is probably one of the most comfortable Levi's jeans I have ever tried on because I'm used to them not really having much stretch. This is the first time I've ever tried the rib cage and they actually are so comfortable and stretchy. I did go up a size in them, but look how flattering they are. This is what the back looks like. And here's like a little side view. This is gonna be perfect for the fall time. And I just created this monochrome look because this is kind of gonna be like my fall uniform of 2023. Just wanna kind of show you guys up close what the wash looks like. It is a high rise, which I absolutely love. And again, here's the side view and here is the back view. Okay, item number two that I feel like everyone needs to have or at least try is a pair of flats. Now, I didn't think I was a fan of flats until I just told myself, you know what, try out these silver ones. I actually bought a pair of silver ballet flats for Presley and I love them on her and I just love flats on other people, but I didn't think I loved them on myself. So I'm gonna put these on, I'm gonna show you guys and tell you guys why I love them. First of all, I think with this outfit, it's just a winner. It's like the accessory that you need. So here it is, here's like my flat of choice. If I were gonna probably choose one flat, it would be these. I'm gonna show you guys up close. So here is what the pair of flats looks like. So I think the reason why I actually like these ones in particular is because they're more of a pointy toe. So I feel like they elongate me. And I love that they're silver because I feel like it just gives the outfit or just makes the outfit a little more interesting. So I could wear like a really plain outfit like this or just throw on a bunch of basics and this will literally be my accessory, but I actually really love these in silver so these are by jeffrey campbell i checked a lot of the jeffrey campbell flats on nordstrom and they are selling like hotcakes because i feel like the way that they are doing the flat is like right on point and i feel like the price point is also on point and these are actually super super comfortable as well they are true to size and this is what they look like up close so i wasn't really sure about like this large of a footed front i guess i don't know what else to call it i was like eh, i don't know if that's gonna work for me but the fact that they're more pointy toe here it is really flattering and i actually really love it and i just like that these are a little more different because they're silver than like some of the other flats that I'm seeing. And it, like I said, they are comfortable. So if you wanna go out, run errands, pick up the kids and be like a little trendy trendsetter, I feel like these are gonna be it. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention about these jeans, why I love a straight leg ankle leg jean is because you can wear so many items with it, like the flats, you could wear heels, you could wear boots. So I'm gonna try these on with, with boots as well. And you obviously could wear sneakers, so that's why straight leg jeans are always such a go-to for me because they will go with every shoe and will go with every top so see how they just fall over boots really nicely and they also looked really nice with those flats and then you can imagine wearing these with sneakers so yeah these straight leg jeans are a win. Okay, item number three that you need for the fall is a sweater. Now I know that's an obvious, but I'm talking like a different sweater, like a deconstructed sweater, like the one that I have on right now. This one is from Reformation, and I love this because it's not just a plain old sweater. It is so many different things. First of all, it is a sweater. Second of all, it's a polo. Thirdly, it's also a cardigan. So it serves so many different purposes. This is, by Reformation so it's a little bit pricier 
but I feel like the cost per wear you're gonna have on this and the many ways you can wear this is all all worth it to me. So first of all, they had different colors, but I had to go with the dark brown because I'm just so into dark browns and charcoals lately. So this is just it. Like I love that it's different and I love that I could wear it like this. I could throw it over my shoulders or I could even unbutton it and just wear it open like this. So it's very, very cute. And I just love the way it lays on the body. It's just such a chic sweater. It's just nothing, it's different. There's not really much out there that's like this. And that's why I think I love it so much. And that's why I think you need it because this is just the one that you're gonna be reaching for. At least that's how I feel. All right, lastly is another no-brainer. It is a little black dress, a long sleeve one in case, you know, you get cold. Obviously you can use tights under these, but for like a nice night out or something like that during the fall time, I just love these minis because you can wear your knee-high boots with them. So something like this, I love an excuse to wear my knee-high boots and I feel like they look best when you show a little bit of your leg. So hence why the short dress, but this dress I have to say is so comfortable. I did order my wrong size. That's why there's a lot of ruching going on, but it is so comfortable. It's by the brand Naked Wardrobe. Again, I'll link everything in the description box, but you can wear this dress so many different ways. And it'll also transition really well into other months like spring. So this is one way. Here I just threw on an oversized leather jacket with the boots. And this is just such an edgy look that I am dying to like go out with. You could easily wear this look with sneakers. Just throw on some type of cardigan or sweater over your shoulder or literally wrap it around your waist. You could also just throw on an oversized blazer and heels with this look for like a date night or dinner, or girls night. And it looks so cute and so chic. So. So many endless ways you could wear this black dress. Again, I'm, it is so comfortable. It's so, so, so soft and super flattering. All right, that is it for this portion of the video. Again, check the description box below and thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. So many great items. It was so hard to choose just four. But again, check out the description box and get these items before they sell out. Okay, so I just did my makeup and I'm about to do my hair. So I thought I would share with you guys how I've been styling my hair. So I'm growing my hair out. It's already pretty long and a lot of you guys are like commenting on how fast it grows. So this is why I'm never afraid to chop my hair off because I know I can just grow it out and it'll just be long pretty quickly. But with that, I'm just gonna go through and show you guys like how I style it. So I went to the spa the other day. I usually use a jumbo round brush. I have another jumbo round brush I'm gonna use, but the original one that I used to use, I'll still link it. But I went to the spa this weekend. I brought that brush with me. I was blow drying my hair at the spa, and I think I left that brush there. So we are gonna use a different one, but the same brand. It's just like a boar bristle brush instead. So I'm gonna bust it out right now. It's by Ibiza Hair, so gonna be this one okay so this is the Ibiza hair bristle wait what is the name of this brush I think it's the MB5 it's an extra large brush so it looks like this and what I learned from this brand is that when it's dark bristles like this it's meant for dark hair when it's like blonde bristles it's meant for blonde hair I might be wrong but that's what my colorist told me so I'm going with that because they do have like one with white bristles and one with dark a whole like you know anyway so always start off with some type of product in your hair before heat styling because that can just act as like your heat protectant this is like the best detangler and I just use this before any heat styling but when you blow dry your hair after putting this on, your hair is literally just like silk. I promise you, trust me, you can have like the blondest hair and this will just go through like silk. And this is, I believe, a 10 year old product, like one of their best selling products ever. I believe it might have even been one of their first launches. Anyway. The best. 
So when I blow dry my hair, I always like to section it just because it's easier. So I'll do the bottom section first and then I just kind of blow dry it straight for the bottom because I don't know, I just really focus on the top but at the same time, while I'm blow drying the top, I'll kind of go in and perfect the bottom areas anyway, so. Okay, so this is my lower half of my hair. Just like a straight rough dry, like I said. What is this? Sometimes my hair lately has just been annoying and not laying the right way. Sometimes I just feel like that's what happens when you're growing out your hair. So for the top part, first of all, I will tie the bottom half. Listen, I'm not a hairdresser, but this is just what I do. So if you think I'm wrong with whatever I'm doing by tying my bottom hair here to separate the two so that I'm just focusing on one section, like I don't really care. Anyway, so let me just split it down the middle. I just have this little thing here that I use. It came with like a comb, but then the comb part fell out. So this is to like split your hair nice and even in the middle. Anyway, so this is the top section. So what I'll do for the top section is I will take the brush, grab a section of the hair, and just like twist like this. Like what I'm doing right here with my hand, if you can practice this, that's just basically what I'm doing. And sometimes I'm using my wrist to twist. Kind of like draw a U with your wrist and then do that and then draw a U and then do that and draw a U. So just trying to figure out the easiest way to explain. So let me start. Oh, but then also first, I always start with my like bang section here, even though I don't really have bangs because mine will curl. And if I don't get it quickly while it's still wet, it'll have like weird curl at the roots. So let me just at least straighten these out. So that's that, and now it's time to blow dry. Okay, so that's one side. So like, I don't really make it too formal. I just like do what I did, not try to make it so fancy. And then we're gonna go on to the other side. Okay, so now I'll just let go the bottom section and just kind of look at it all together, make adjustments where needed. So, we'll just probably guys, this part. My hair will just look something like this, you know, like some parts blow dry in, some parts flow out like that. And I like the contrast of all that so that it's not all one way. So 
pretty much that's what I'll get. And then I'll add some finishing spray, texturizing spray, one of my favorite hair products ever. I don't like too much product in my hair and it just depends on how dry it is or not, but yeah. And if I feel like my hair is flat, which by the way, I have a hair appointment next Tuesday, I was supposed to have one tomorrow, but I didn't want to go in the afternoon because my hair takes so long to like when I color it. I'm going lighter by the way, but yeah, these roots are crazy. But if I do need some like volume at the top, I'll just take the brush and then I'll just kind of brush it through, go all the way down like this and leave it on there for like a minute and then it'll just create some volume at the crown. But my hair gets a lot of body over here just from that blow dry already. So I'm not gonna do that, um, but I am going to add some texturizing spray. And I always like to go in kind of like at the root too because I feel like texturizing spray always adds more body and life later. I don't know you guys, I'm not one of those girls that can go so long without washing my hair. Personally, I feel dirty if I don't wash my hair. I'm not gonna like go eight days without washing my hair and just continuously adding dry shampoo and then going on <laughs> sleeping on my pillow cover and putting and rubbing my face all on my pillow cover that my dirty eight day old hair had been, you know, it's like I go everywhere, you use the restroom, you poop, I'm just like, ugh. My hair probably catches all of this like yucky air, but that's just me. I just cannot be like laying in my pillow cover with my dirty hair and my face all over it. Like I need to wash my hair. But with that, that's why I always, you know, use really good products so it stays healthy and hydrated. No offense to anyone that can go long. I just can't. And that's it.